Hey there friends, welcome to another unboxing and review. This is the Ansel OBD310 diagnosing tool. This is the OBD2 scanner. Get this out of here. Nice little case that comes in there. And there's the cord right there. So handheld device, uh, Bluetooth connection, and HUD display. There it is there. Pretty sweet. So basically it's just plug and play. Right on the front here, we have this nice little display here. And then the different options. So pretty long cord here also. Let's just see how long it is. It's like uh, conveniently long. Some scanner cords are pretty short and then you have to kind of not be in a comfortable situation while you're reading it. But this appears to be about four and a half feet long there. This also comes, oh, that's cool, it like winds itself up. Also comes with this uh, USB-C to USB-A uh, cord. Oh, real quick, I just didn't notice this. It has this little um, device here. You can simply put this on your vent or something like that. And then it's got the magnet on there. So very convenient. So in, instead of having to plug this in and then maybe hold it while you're doing other stuff, uh, just put this on your vent right there. It's gonna hold it in place so you can uh, be able to use this uh, with one hand if you need to. Well, let's go, uh, Let's go test this out. All right guys, so here we are in my Tundra. If you're looking for your OBD hookup, it's like usually right up underneath like the steering wheel. So just take your plug and line it up there. I should just plug right onto here like this. There we go. And that's gonna power this up and we can check it out here. All right, there we go. I just got my little phone holder right here. So that just sticks right on there as well. So um, it says Bluetooth mode. We can download the Ansel app here and show it uh, how it looks on there. Okay, this is the Ansel app. Uh, just download it from the Google store. And here we go, we got diagnosed. Diagnose. We have all these cool things on here. Tons of different things. Flashlight. Okay, that turns on the light on my phone. Uh, tons of different things settings let's see what my vehicle says no data yet okay battery check voltage reference start let's start the engine all right we'll start the engine then get my keys out Okay, just started. Okay, it looks like we got time consumption. Please have a safe drive today. Engine voltage, max voltage, so cool. It's got the battery check stuff on there. Uh, go to diagnostics, initializing a report there. Communicating with the vehicle. Oh wow, uh, there is a ton of stuff on here. Um, <laughs> wow, that's a lot of info. Um, vehicle self check. Uh, onboard monitoring, that's my zero EVAP system. That's a lot of things there. Okay, I think I trouble codes, anything? Okay, I haven't got any codes on my vehicle too, so that's good. What's the dashboard? Looking like here. RPMs. How oh, cool. Yeah, that's literally what my car is at right now. That's pretty sick. ECT. I'm not sure what those VSS. Sparks. That's a lot of. I mean, I'd have to look up all this stuff, but this is crazy. Really detailed information on here. 
uh, onboard monitoring test. Whoa. I mean, this is a little bit beyond my scope of like, uh, This is like mechanic level stuff, I think. So as far as diagnosing what you have going on with your car, but this thing is showing me a lot of information here. Um, EVAP system. So pretty crazy. Okay, my, I don't know, EVAP, I'm not even sure. Maybe my car's not new enough for that. Is that electric? Uh, trip. Performance test. All right, what if I give it a little rev here, see what happens. <laughs> That's, that is cool. Brake. Uh, I'm not driving right now when I'm doing that, but I just have the car started. Also, you can do 100 meters. Do your little testing on that. O2 sensors, I'll see what those are at. Okay, I think we went to that. So just a ton of information here, just, just on the Bluetooth. As you can see, it's quite extensive. Very cool. All right, here we're checking out the, the monitor on here, and it has a bunch of different things, read codes, uh, readiness, data stream, freeze frame. So pretty much all the same stuff, but just if you want it on like uh, this screen or not. Um, let's see here. We have the up and down, have the back button back uh, vehicle information let's go down to that so pretty responsive here it has pretty much all my info on there it's crazy I'll go back uh, readiness click there this drive cycle let's see this fire monitor okay uh, everything's okay glad to hear that so everything's working real nice on here um yeah so this thing's just crazy it's got a lot of a lot of info on here so uh if you kind of handy or you just want to know like if your car's working okay this thing is super cool i like that it has a little magnet system um i can just put this on my i just hook this on my uh thing if i wanted to i would put it there but I have my shifter right here so it'd be a little bit in the way for the video so I just put it on my little phone holder works great too so it's like hands-free just kind of check it out